everyone and welcome to the channel so today i have a review for a film that's going to be coming out on vod on february 7th i got an early screener to check out this film and let you guys know if it's worth a watch it is a comedy film called millennium bugs is it worth your time well stick around and let's talk about it set in the days leading up to the year 2000 friends kelly and miguel along with the rest of the world find themselves facing mounting pressures and the harsh realities of their futures the film stars chad brummett Katie Aaron, Michael Lovato, and was directed by Alejandro Montoya Marin. So going into Millennium Bugs, when I got this screener, I was really interested in checking this film out, mainly because this film was going to take place in the year 2000, and I thought to myself, hmm, what was I doing in the year 2000? Well, I was 11 years old at that point in my life, and I remember Y2K, and this film, it takes place in Y2K, although I don't think it really has a big actual effect on the premise itself. You have a girl here named Kelly, and she's very irresponsible. She's doing drugs. She spent all her inherited money because her parents passed away. She's hiding drugs in different video stores. She has a friend named Miguel, and he works at said video store, and she's hiding drugs in the videos, which is kind of funny that she's doing that. But at the same time, she's not being really responsible. You can tell that she's really depressed, and she's having a hard time really adjusting to life. She's living kind of recklessly, which I think when you're in that situation and you're alone, you really have a hard time knowing how to progress your life and what you should be doing. So a lot of the times you kind of do things off the deep end. You do things that you wouldn't normally think that you would do. By spending all the inherited money and having all this fun and going all these different trips, she gets into debt. And so the only way that she can actually get out of this debt is she's gonna have to sell the home and she has to make the tough choice if she really wants to do that. Meanwhile, you have her friend Miguel on this film. He works at a video store and he has dreams to be a comedian and his parents want him to go to college and they want him to really succeed and follow their footsteps and you see this a lot in coming of age stories you see the parents really pushing the children to really just follow their dreams they really need to think big and not think so small and think of a career that actually would make them money and miguel really has those struggles throughout this film with miguel being kind of a timid personality at certain points and not really standing up for himself he has kelly which kelly has no problem speaking out she can be kind of rude and she's kind of an asshole in this movie and it can be a little hard to really get into her character really root for her while you know that the struggles that she has actually placed herself through with debt, but she's also had the loss of her parents, so you feel that need to really kind of feel like you need to lend a hand to her. But at the same time, she needs to kind of get her life together as well. So having the things that she does in this film, some of the things that she does in this film, she shouldn't be doing. She's kind of repeating certain things over and over, and she needs to be learning her lesson. And I can understand where some people may have a problem really getting into her character because of some of the choices that she makes in this film and consequences not actually coming to her. While as Miguel, he is really trying to figure out his life and he's not making the same kind of choices that his friend Kelly is. So they're definitely opposite characters here. Things that I liked about this film, I really like the music. It has really good rock music. I think the audio is really good. The camera work is done really well. It's very steady, no shaky cam. They do a really good job of how they shot this film. I'm not sure the camera work as far as if this is their first film or if they've done other films, but I think they do a pretty good job of capturing different shots in this film and the cinematography. The only thing that I would say negative about this film that is a little bit hard for me to really, I guess, get my whole grasp on is even though it's set in Y2K because it talks about Y2K in the beginning of the film and what happened during those times, I don't really feel it has much of an effect in this story because it's really just about these two different people that are really struggling in life. And I think that it has very minimal impact in the story. I also found that not all the jokes in here land. I think that's kind of common with comedy. And I think there could have been a little bit more jokes. I think we could have had a little bit more comedy throughout the film. But I did like the fact that we have these two characters on screen. We're just trying to follow their journey. Being a comedy film, obviously not all the comedy lands. And there are certain parts in this film where certain jokes don't land. And I also wish there was a little bit more comedy to even out the story 
and it feels kind of like a drama-ish kind of film, but it has certain comedy aspects. I also wish that Kelly's character actually had some consequences sometimes for her actions. There are certain things in here that she does have consequences for, but there's one particular thing that she does that's pretty bad, and it's almost like they kind of forget it in the movie, and she never gets a consequence for that said bad thing. So it makes it feel a little bit unauthentic that this is actually happening at that point. So it bugged me a little bit that that portion of the film, we don't get to see that really play out too much. It's just kind of like a quick thing and done and over with, and we never really talk about that portion of what she did during that time. As far as how this film wraps up and what this film is trying to portray as far as a message, I think that it really does hit home for the most part. I would give a score of this film a 3 out of 5. I think it's a solid enough film. It's definitely worth a one-time watch for sure just to check it out and see what it's all about. And maybe you'll get a laugh or two out of this film. But let me down in the comments, is this something you've ever heard of and is it something that you're willing to check out? Thank you guys for watching this review and I will see you guys on my next review.